All right, guys, here's something a little bit different. Pittsburgh portable tire changer. Um, you get it at Harbor Freight. Um, yeah, you want to change tires yourself, this is how you do it. The old-fashioned way. See what's in here, show you guys how she's boxed. I know a lot of people are curious on stuff when you first get it. Kind of how, it, how it's packaged and what you get. So here you get some nuts and bolts to bolt it together. There's kind of what it looks like. Looks like you got to bolt the bottom on. You got your bar, yada yada. Here's that piece. We'll get to that. Here we've got our tire bar. Um, here's the end that you put the tire back on with, I believe. No, sorry. This is the end you take it off. No, I'm right. This is the end you take it off with. You get it in there and come around. Anyway, I'm going to line these with UHMW. Um, I want it to not scratch rims because every video out there talks about how you scratch your rims with this machine. So where it rides on the rim in here, I'm going to take some UHMW plastic. Um, I've seen people, they put it in here and then you can run a zip tie around it or whatever around here. So anyways, we'll get to that too. Maybe do an up later with modifications. Looks like the final pieces in here are the bars that kind of make up the feet of the deal. Looks like all the goodies. Okay, you got your tire bar. I don't know exactly what's going down here. Like that. Because this plate here has to go... Actually, it's got to go this way because this is your bead breaker. tire in here and then you push down on it to break the bead. Um, up here, you can't see, the top portion of this baby, this screws off to clamp your wheel down. It's a long winded sucker. Looks like there's just a big bolt inside of there. This goes on over your wheel like this when you put it on here. Put some rubber or rags or something under that so you don't scratch your wheel. When your wheel goes on here, this will go up through one of the bolt holes to hold it from spinning. So, and then this, like I said, will bolt on here with these bolts, nuts and bolts. So, so there you go, quick rundown of that. Never sees that top piece. Um, Maybe I'll do a video of how I change tires once I get it figured out. I've got a bubble balancer and some stick on wheel weights coming. So, what does it cost? 15 to 25 bucks per wheel to get it uh, dismounted, remounted, balanced. I figure this will pay for itself. If I can get it to where it doesn't scratch wheels, I'll be really happy. So, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for stopping by.
Hey guys, here's a quick little video on the Harbor Freight style wheel, portable wheel balancer, bubble balancer, uh, whatever you want to call it. This one says Costway on it, um, but it's the same difference. Um, you can see together it's going to look like that. Basic little deal there. You get a little flyer on putting it together, yada yada. There's a breakdown of the pieces. Um, bolt this into the bottom section here get it started. There it is. Snug that down. It's going to be too tall now. Put this part here. You can see it's got your bubble level in it. it just has a little divot up in there in the center. There you can see it. This here has a little point so it'll ride on there and balance. Bit of a trick to get it in there but you can see how it kind of teeters so then when you get your wheel you're going to put your wheel on here push it down to center it and then the little bubble will tell you which side's heavy right now it looks pretty centered there's three screws on this so you can adjust the bubble to make sure it's level once you get it set up where it is because you want to have a level level deal there so anyways there's that we will come back after I balance one and kind of show the procedure. So, hope you like it. Like, comment, subscribe.